Hey, thanks for checking us out. I'm Core Crossing. This is Crossing C's Tips and Tricks, and today I'm going to be covering landing pages. I'm going to give you some tips that I learned from myself and stuff I learned from Russell Bronson, Jim Edwards, Todd Brown, some of the greats out there. That being said, remember to like, share, subscribe, and in the description box below, there's going to be a link to my number one way to make money online. Click on it, get on my email list, and watch the video afterwards. That's really important because that's a video that really helped me get started online and pointed in the right direction and connected to a group of people that really helped and supported me and got me to where I am today. And I want the same to, I want the same for you. That being said, let's get to those landing pages. All right, we're going to be talking about landing pages for the tips and tricks. Now, if you don't know what a landing page is, it's real simple. It is a very simple page designed to collect leads and push people. Well, actually, not even collect leads. Sometimes people decide not to collect, but it's a landing page designed to gather people and get them to the next stage. It's like the introduction it's designed to hook people and get them to perform an action that's what the purpose of a landing page is it's really important especially when you're an affiliate marketer and any kind of marketing actually anything online this is tip number one from Russell Bronson keep it simple the you want it as simple as you can a uh, Russell Bronson likens the customer to a deer now if a deer if there's too much going on, a deer is going to run away. Same with your customer. If your landing page has a lot of bells and whistles on it, your conversion rate is going to go down. And the simpler that you can make it, the less barriers you have, the less confusing it is, the more conversions you're going to get, more leads you're going to collect, the better your overall campaign if you're running paid ads is going to be. Yeah, so if there's too much going on, your deer is going to run away, your customer is going to run away, and you're not going to make that sale. You're going to lose them. So keep it simple. Now, this is almost counterintuitive when it comes to higher end stuff where you don't want to waste your time with a lot of leads. You want to get quality leads. So sometimes you need to make sure that person is very committed. So you make a long application process and that actually weeds out a lot of people that are not serious because if you're serious about spending something like 10 grand you're gonna fill out a form it's you're serious about it all right let's go to tip number two tip number two this is also i got this one for uh from russell bronson this is cur curiosity don't be plain add a little mystery um so for example best online training for being sellers to sell more that's cool you're telling me exactly what it is and you're making a claim and okay that's cool man but another curiosity would that would attract bean sellers i messed up should have been is so here's an example for a curiosity thing this costly mistake are leaving bean sellers broke if I was a bean seller, I was like, this, there's going to be a mistake. This is really going to grab my attention because I want to avoid going broke as a bean seller. I want to be able to sell as much beans. And it could be part of your training. So tip number three, congruency. I actually got this from a marketer, um, freelance digital marketer called a name, uh, Aaron Fraser. Really cool guy. Really positive. And... I've been taught this by a bunch of people, but the way he explained it, it like clicked finally. I could be a little dense, but congruency. So all that is, is making everything the same. So the best way for me to explain it, if you're selling trucks, don't advertise a car. If your ad says best cars in the world, click now, get them dirt cheap. And then on your landing page, it says, best truck ever you're not going to collect a lot of leads you're going to have people you're going to lose trust you're going to get people confused they're going to be like did i go to the right place i better protect my computer and get off before i get a virus so that was a big one but congruency can be something as small as the color of a button the font uh the structure of everything and so if i was a fill if i was i am an affiliate marketer um or just selling anything um, I would start with the order form page and work my way back and just look at the fonts, look at the colors that they use, and then build my landing page based off of that. So at least the colors and the buttons would be the same so that people click the buttons and go through. Tip number three, optimize for the right device. Now this is a mistake I've made plenty of times. I'm like, how come my stuff isn't doing too well? What's going on? And then I realize 
that I didn't optimize for like mobile. Like the I looked at the data and it was like computers doing great, but my mobile my mobile device wasn't doing too well. And I checked on it, the background image got all squished when it went to uh, mobile device. So I had to switch it up. Not a big deal, but it made a huge difference on it. So that is a big tip, and I learned from my personal mistake. Hmm. So this one, uh, everyone teaches this. Absolutely everyone, and I can't stress how important this one is, especially if you're just getting started out and you have no data, you have no experience in a niche, and you just want to get started. Start with what works. Um, study the competition. If you know someone's making money doing what you're doing, see what they're doing. Learn from them. Don't copy them word for word, but just study. See what they're doing. Take notes and learn from people that are making money from it. Um, yeah, everyone teaches this. Uh, Jim, uh, was it Jim Edwards, Russell Bronson, and Todd Brown? They all teach this stuff. Now, number six. Now, this one's really cool, and I believe Todd Brown actually puts it in a way that's very encouraging. He talks about how A B testing um, is very good, and the cool thing about A B testing is that. The worst your landing page is going to perform is today. If you do ABT, uh, ABT, AB testing correctly or split testing, um, the worst your landing page or your ad is ever going to perform is today. And when you do it right, you can always improve on your landing page. Now, you won't get it right on the first try, so don't give up. It's going to cost you time. It's going to cost you money sometimes if you're running a paid ad, but it's worth it in the long run. Um, so yeah, so at the end of the day, the, if you do this correctly, the worst your landing page will ever be is how it's performing today. That's awesome. Right. And so just don't be, um, just don't be what you call satisfied with. Okay. So don't just be satisfied with. Okay. Always try to push it just a little bit more. You'll be surprised on the results. Just a small change would make. Um, and you'll, as you test, you'll learn your, about your audience just a little bit more and what works and what doesn't work. And again, uh, if you watch my, uh, I think copywriting video, it's never one size fits all. So that being said, thanks for watching. This is court crossing and crossing seas tips and tricks. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Also in the description box below, there's going to be a link to my number one way to make money online. Click on it, watch the video afterwards. It's a great video. It really helped me and I hope it helps you. That being said, you guys have a good day.